Dr. Paul Lynch. And I'm Dr. Tori McJunkin. Welcome to The Pain Show. On today's episode of The Pain Show, we're going to talk about facet arthritis and the treatments of that disorder. The facet joints are small joints that are on your entire spine. They start in the low back and they go all the way through the thoracic spine into the neck. And the joints are there for a purpose. They're supposed to provide stability and also mobility for the spine. But in some people, they get inflamed or arthritic. There becomes degeneration of the joint and it becomes extremely painful for the patient. In the past, we always thought that pain was coming from the disc or the nerves. More and more we're finding out that pain is actually coming from the small joints in the back, which makes sense because as a degenerative process, you can get arthritis in those joints. The exciting thing about this condition if you're a patient is that there is a very easy treatment for facet arthritis. We typically do a two-step process if you come to see a pain management specialist. The first is that we identify the facet joint, which Dr. McJunkin has already shown you. But there are two nerves that innervate each of these joints. They're called the medial branch nerves. What we can do is with x-ray guidance, we take a tiny needle and we place it below and above the joint. And what we'll do is we'll actually numb the nerves that provides innervation to the joint. If the patient tells us that they feel 50 to 75% better after this procedure, we'll typically recommend a procedure called radiofrequency ablation. Now in this procedure, we place a special type of needle just below the facet joint. And what we do is after numbing the nerve, we can actually destroy the nerve. We heat up the needle to somewhere between 70 and 90 degrees Celsius. And by burning the nerve, the joint will then no longer be able to transmit pain to the brain. Studies show that radiofrequency ablation typically lasts 11 months. And that means the patient receives relief for 11 months from the arthritis type pain from those joints. The average pain relief is 11 months. We typically will see pain relief anywhere from six months all the way up to six years. And the other thing is, during the time that the patient has pain relief, we typically get them into physical therapy, something to strengthen their spine so that the pain doesn't return. This is called core strengthening. What happens to the nerve after this is the nerve eventually regenerates and reconnects. When it reconnects, oftentimes people's pain will come back. If the pain does return, this is a procedure which can be repeated. And the nice thing about it, it's a very low risk procedure. We do these every day, we do it with x-ray guidance, and we typically have very good outcomes. So Mary, welcome to the show today. Thanks a lot for coming in to join us. Um, how long have you been uh, visiting the doctors at Arizona Pain Specialist? Gosh, I first came here in April of 2009. Uh -huh. And tell us a little bit about the type of pain you were experiencing at that time. Well, I have had back pain for probably 20 years, mm -hmm. and it had just really escalated and had gotten a lot worse. And I'd seen my family doctor, and he said, well, you have arthritis arthritis in your low back and I said well you know mm, that's kind of a great answer but it doesn't really address anything mm -hmm. so he gave me some muscle relaxants and uh, pain meds and said you know we'll come back in a month and he made me mad so I started <laughs> web surfing and I found your website read everything on there and decided I would come here and you guys did the MRI and found the bulging discs in my back which mm -hmm. was actually the source of most of the pain um, that had escalated so much that it was just unbearable for me to actually function every day. So I was really thrilled that I had found you. Did you say you were having pain for 20 years? Is that correct? Yeah, off and on. I've been in three car accidents and I've always had back problems. So, yeah. Wow. Now over that 20 years, did you ever find treatment that worked for you? No, I've, I've been pretty consistent with chiropractic because that mm -hmm. does seem to relieve a lot of mm -hmm. it, but not really, you know, it's, it's always kind of been there. Right. So Mary, you, you had this pain in your neck. Um, let's take you back a little bit uh, for 20 years. Yeah. You came in and we did uh, an MRI of your neck and you didn't have any large herniations, but what you had was arthritis and inflammation of the cervical facet joints. We talked to you a little bit about that in the office mm -hmm. and um, I'm just going to show the viewers that are watching a little bit of what your physical exam looked like so that if they're having the same type of pain, they'll know. Is that okay with you? That's fine. So I'm just going to have you turn a little bit to the okay. side and what we found in Mary in that time is she had a lot of tenderness along her cervical facet joints which are on the side of her neck and at that time the doctors at Arizona Pain Specialist put some pressure right in here and you had severe tenderness, is that oh, correct? Yeah. And I mean to the point where you jumped and you, uh, you don't even have that pain as much today. Nope. Um, 
all along from C2 to C6, she had tenderness um, in the side of the neck. And this was a direct result of the car accident that she had almost 20 years ago, and she had never properly healed. As a matter of fact, she had what's called post-traumatic arthritis. After the wreck, she had a whiplash type injury, and what happened is as that healed, it, it basically eroded or degenerated the joint a little bit. And that's the kind of tenderness she had. And we knew just by doing a, a simple physical exam, direct pressure, and also correlating that with MRI findings. Now, what we did was we had you come in on a separate day, and we did a diagnostic injection, um, where we basically, with a very tiny needle and x-ray guidance, we numbed up the nerves that go to those joints. And after the, the numbing, tell us about how you felt. You know, I wasn't sure what to expect, because yeah. it was my neck. Um, right. And, and every time I think about needles going into my spine or neck, it's kind of scary. But, um, you know, I felt really great. I went home and, and put a little ice on it and came back the next day to do the other side. And it was just, it was just miraculous for me because there was no pain anymore. Wow. And we knew right away at that point that the diagnosis that we'd made in the office was accurate. Absolutely. Because if we could block these nerves and all the pain goes away, then logically that's where the pain's coming from. And we talked to you a little bit about that, and then we described to you that we were going to do the radio frequency procedure. Do you remember that? Yep, I do. And then uh, after the radio frequency, tell us about how you felt after we had actually done the radio frequency procedure on these nerves. Um, well, my nurse practitioner had mentioned that that would probably be a little bit more painful, so I was prepared, but um, it actually wasn't. Nice. Um, I just had a little discomfort and things, um, but again, it was that sensation of, there's no more pain and just being ridiculously happy about not having any neck pain. So um, I would come here and you guys could do almost anything to me at this office and I would be ecstatic <laughs> because I'm not going to be in pain afterwards. Um, it's, I know it's ridiculous, but I just have a lot of faith in Arizona pain specialists. So for the viewers at home, I'd like to encourage you to read up more about the type of treatment that we did on Mary. Mary has had pain in her neck for over 20 years, and we diagnosed her with cervical facet arthritis. If you want to learn more about this, you can go to our website at ArizonaPain.com and click on our e-pain book. Um, inside the book, I would look for the chapters on cervical pain, facet arthritis, and also the treatments of that, medial branch blocks, and also radio frequency. Um, and if there's anything that we can do to help you, uh, feel free to either call us at Arizona Pain Specialist or to submit questions online. And Mary, I'd like to thank you for taking time to come be on our show today. And I'm so happy to hear about the result that you've had. Well, thank you. I'm happy to come and, and uh, share my story today. Okay, thank you very much. Dr. Chance Moore. I'm a chiropractor here at the Arizona Pain Specialist. I perform acupuncture and spinal decompression as well as traditional chiropractic adjustments. Today I'm going to be performing some acupuncture on Dr. Tori McJunkin. The 1997 NIH consensus study shows that acupuncture can be effective at reducing neck pain. That's exactly right. That was a big study that looked at people with chronic neck pain and showed benefit from acupuncture, and we see that in our own practice here. We now believe that acupuncture works by release of endorphins, which is the body's natural pain relievers. People think acupuncture can be extremely painful. In fact, it only causes minimal discomfort. The acupuncture needle is about a tenth of the size of an injection needle, and typically doesn't hurt at all going in. Most patients don't realize when you started or when you finished, they just feel the tapping of the needles. The needles help reduce the rate at which those pain fibers are firing and help normalize the body. Acupuncture can treat a number of conditions. That's why acupuncture is the number one referred complementary alternative medicine. To learn more about any of the techniques or topics that we've discussed in today's episode, please log on to www.arizonapain.com. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of The Pain Show. I hope this was helpful. We here at The Pain Show believe you too can be pain free.